What's going on? Welcome back. Uh, my name's Christian and welcome to another Random Rig Friday. In today's video, I am talking about how to get a top handle on your DSLR or mirrorless camera to add some functionality, but to also uh, keep the profile pretty minimal. If you've ever used a top handle before, you probably know it's a joy to use, especially if you are a mobile videographer that's moving around quite a bit. Um, yes, you can hold the camera by the grip, but sometimes it's not as uh, reliable. It sometimes can be uncomfortable, whereas you can get a real firm grasp on a top handle of a camera. Additionally, if you have used a top handle, you know that it makes the camera size significantly bigger, so that becomes an issue when you're putting your camera in your camera bag. So there was a long while while I was uh, shooting with the A7S, the Sony A7S, I was shooting with the Movecam, 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 sorry, Movecam cage, and it comes with a top handle. And this is great, I love this system. It's very balanced when I hold it. It has plenty of mounting points, both quarter inch and three eighth inch. It has a shoe mount. This is just a very rock solid handle. But then I decided to upgrade my camera bag and uh, to accommodate for more slots and more camera accessories for my bag, but instead now all the uh, pockets are on the side, so the depth is not nearly as substantial, so this didn't, it didn't, it didn't fit. So I decided to take off the top handle and I just used the camera as is, which was fine, but I, I, I did really miss the top handle. As I upgraded to my Sony a7 III, I decided to get a half cage made by small rig and with this, I mounted a shoe mount here for the microphone, a shoe mount here for the monitor, but still no top handle because when I pack this in the bag, I take the monitor off, I take the mic off, and the camera just sits perfectly in the bag. Um, it's not a big deal, but part of me has been missing a top handle. This is so nice to have, but it, it, it's very high. And I'm just thinking like, what if I could find a top handle that I could install on this half cage of the a7 III and basically have it low enough that when I put it in my camera bag, it's not too high and the camera bag won't close. So I went to the wonderful world of Amazon and I knew there was really only one brand I was gonna look for and that is Small Rig. Now I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever, but I just, I genuinely do love their products. Like every, every single little piece or accessory that goes into a rig that I need, Small Rig makes it. And it's always like 20 bucks or less. And I like, it's, it, it's so rock solid. Small Rig has so many different types of handles for cages, but I was looking for a few key features uh, when finding the perfect top handle. I need shoe mounts on both ends of the handle. I need threaded quarter and three eighth inch holes for different mounting purposes. I need something that's low sitting to the camera. That way I can fit it in the bag when the lid closes. And most importantly, I need something that's rock solid. So after debating some various models, I decided to go with this one. And as I added it to my cart, I found something else that wasn't labeled as a top handle, but it certainly fit all of my criteria. So I'm actually recording this video prior to even getting my delivery from Amazon. So I have not yet tested this. I have not yet built this and Basically, the reason of that is I want to build it with you guys so you can see my first initial reactions, whether it's actually a good handle or it might be, it might get returned. All right, it is about time. Let's go. Let's open this up. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. I ordered one, one cart purchase from Amazon, but it's coming in two different shipments. So I have the handle here, but the rosette that I need to attach to here, to the cage, is not in this shipment. It might actually be in the mailbox. <sighs> yes, this is cool. This is very cool. So this is a handle for basically like a shoulder rig. This is one handle of like, imagine like 
those big shoulder rigs where you got the padding here and the camera's right here and then it arms breach out and like then you hold them like this. That's what this handle is. And then it has an airy rosette. And essentially what I'm gonna do is like attach an airy rosette to the cage and then this one would just whoop, screw on and then this would be my top handle. But I can't actually show that to you right now because I don't have the airy rosette for the camera. Let me, let me check my mailbox, hold on. Okay, update. It was in my mailbox. Forget that, forget this. I don't need a knife for that. Yes, here we go. Okay. Do 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 airy rosette. This is cold shoe adapters. So these are important too. Okay, airy rosette. Okay. Here we go. Okay, um, we need to just temporarily put this stuff off to the side. Oh yes. Okay. This will work. Okay. So this this guy, which is like the base for the rosette, the rosette sits on here. This can you can put quarter inch screws through here and there's a little bit of leeway depending on like where the where it sits on the cage all right we got four super super tiny screws one's already out of the bag we're gonna very carefully oh there's more than four maybe they gave me extra and let's snug these up because once we install the rosette we're not going to be able be able to have access so that's, that's rock solid, cool. Now, oh man, I gotta install these tiny little screws. This is the smallest screwdriver I could find. I hope it works. I guess it just comes with two extra screws in case you, you know, lose, lose these ones. I don't know how you could possibly lose these tiny, tiny screws. All right, that, that's, that's pretty solid the moment of truth. This should screw right in here and be, be good. <laughs> oh, I think, I think we have it folks. We have a handle, yes. It's pretty solid. That's very solid. And what's nice is you can actually loosen this. And if you wanted to make it like a back handle, you just pivot it because the airy rosette can go 360 around here. Not sure why you would need to like go at a side angle. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with this, but okay. This is good news. This is exciting. And this isn't very high sitting. Okay, this is, this is exciting. So, like I said, the reason I picked this um, was for a few reasons. One, it's rock solid. Two, it doesn't sit as high. It, well, it sits closer to the lens, rather. It's not like super, super high. Um, so those are two big reasons. Uh, another reason is the mounting holes, which clearly there are a ton. And the fourth reason was I need a shoe mount in the back and the front. Well. I have one in the back here, but there's no shoe mount here. Well, that's okay. Because of all these mounting holes, I can take one of these small rig cold shoes and install it right, right onto one of the quarter 20 threads. And like that, I have another shoe mount. So that's boom, done. Okay, now let's test this out. Get the monitor on there. That's nice. See, this this is nice for like low low shots because I can like see. I can gr basically keep the camera down low, but then tilt the monitor back and like look see what I'm looking at. And then I still ooh, that's nice. I I still have a good amount of like tilt back without actually hitting the mic, which is pretty nice. Now. I don't know if this is a big deal. 
Um, before the mic was on the side, which obviously made the side bigger. Now the mic is like up top. Um, I don't know, wait, wait, let me, mm -hmm, let me try something. What if I did this? Is this ridiculous? I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on the right side since I'm left-handed. Um, or maybe I'll put it back. I don't know, I'll figure it out. That's also kind of like what is so fun for me is like you can customize your camera however you want, essentially. Like with all these different mounting options, I can put my accessories anywhere around the camera. Uh, it's, not, it's not very difficult. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see if this fits. Um, bad. All right, so monitor comes off. So the goal here is I can just place it in and it might, I don't know, we're gonna find out. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It fits. No, um, I mean, it, 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 clearly it fits. Um, it does protrude a little bit. If you can see this, might be hard to see. Um, it does stick out a little bit. Um, so like if, now I have the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW, um, which is a great bag, but it's definitely on the stiffer side. And if I have a laptop in the laptop part, that would make this uh, completely rigid. I don't know if this would fit. I don't know. However, something that's nice is I can just unscrew it, handle comes off, boom. Now there's no question. And that was definitely a big concern for me is being able to take the handle on and off fairly quickly um, versus like, I know I saw some handles that like you permanently screw in two screws into the cage, which is definitely secure, but if you wanna take the handle off, you're not doing that quickly. So there you guys have it. This week's episode of Random Rig Friday, rigging the handle to a cage for your DSLR or mirrorless camera. Um, sorry, I'm sure this is a really long episode just because I'm literally figuring this out live. Um, so although I'm gonna chop it up, you are, yeah, you're, you're witnessing me figure this out for myself. So if you wanna see upcoming random rigs uh, every Friday, I'm posting a new video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to figure out how to make this rig, whether it's a regular top handle or my hybrid top handle, side handle, if you wanna call it, um, I will leave the links below and I'll see you guys next Friday. <laughs>